welcome back to the second slaw lesson reading Beasts of Olympus Beast Keeper by Lucy Coates. Now yesterday your task was to draw a picture of what you thought that demon's dad looked like based on the description from the book so thank you for those of you that sent your pictures through we really enjoyed seeing them and I'm going to put a picture on the screen now of what he actually looks like so that's the picture that is in the book how does that compare to your picture? Were you quite similar or were you way off and it's not what you thought he would look like at all? Today we're going to be reading our next passage on chapter one and you're going to be answering some retrieval questions on what we've read. So it might be a good idea now to get the questions up so that you know the kind of information that you're looking for as we're reading it through. So let's carry on with the next part of chapter two. Fox God, Fox God, Fox God, run, run, run! The chickens scattered across the yard, gabbling and squawking in terror. Demon knelt in the dirt and bowed his head. He wasn't too sure if that's what you did with a dad, but it was certainly what you did with a god. Especially if that god was Pan, ruler of forests and all wild creatures. A god who could call up a pack of ravening bears and that would rip you to bits in an instant. Pandemonious, my boy, said his dad. Pan's voice was like mossy bark on ancient trees. It was deep and velvety with a hint of crumbly roughness at the edges. Even though it was Demon's real name, no one had ever called him Pandemonious. Even the mountain wolves called him Demon and they tended to be rather formal in their speech. Demon was about to tell his dad how silly his full name sounded when he felt a pair of huge hands under his armpits. He was lifted up into a god hug that smelled of pungent green things, goaty musk and old stale blood. Good to meet you at last, my son. Come on, let's find your dear mother, Caris, and get your things together. Haven't seen her in far too long, not since you arrived in the world, in fact. By Zeus's beard, how time flies. So that is all we're going to be reading of the story today. Your questions that you've got to answer now. Question one is, what is Pan the ruler of? So if you're to skip back to the beginning of the passage when I started reading, or fairly near the beginning, you should find the answer to what Pan's what, what Pan rules, what he's the ruler of. Question two is, how is Pan's voice described? Now, if you skip slightly ahead, just after the bit where you find what he's the ruler of, then you should find how his voice is described as well. Question three is a nice simple one. What is Demon's full name? And it mentioned it a couple of times there in that passage. And question four is what did Pan's god hug smell like? So there is a specific description of what it smelled like in the passage which we just read as well. Make sure that you are answering these questions in full sentences as we would always expect you to do in a regular slaw lesson. And we look forward to seeing your answers that hopefully you're going to send through to us on the emails as well. Don't forget you can contact us on the year four email address or the individual class email addresses as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson. Bye!